Hello there friends, my name is Victoria Moro and this is a release of the day. Please remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel PA74 Music where you can find a lot of interesting music about artists. <laughs> Hello, hello, I'm so happy to be here with you tonight and now together with me is amazing, fantastic artist. Hello! Hey, what's up? Thank you PA74 for having me. Hello, hello, we are so happy and glad that you are here with us. And we are happy to introduce the now is second episode of release of the day. And uh, are you ready? Always ready. <laughs> Great. And we start your name. My name is Jolene J. Chin. Where are you from? I'm from Malaysia. Music style? My music style is crossover instrumental. Mm, great. The last song you listened to? Ooh, I've listened to many songs, but I think I remember listening to Sade's um, Like a Tattoo. Mm, okay. The last movie you watched? Um, oh, um, this movie, I think, got released about a month ago, and um, I think it's called Bullet Train. It stars Brad Pitt in it. Yeah, I think it's called Bullet Train. <laughs> oh. Good memory, you know. <laughs> <Come on. laughs> um, what is your favorite TV series? Um, oh, there's too many. But if I have to mention one, that would be Stranger Things on Netflix. Mm, good choice. Which <laughs> artist influenced you most of all? Um, wow, especially with crossover music, there's like tons of artists um, that influenced me, but um, I think the three main artists that influenced me so much, especially when it comes to um, crossover music and like, you know, instrumentalist, I would have to say growing up listening to Vanessa May, um, awesome crossover violinist, and um, also producers that works with so many artists um, like David Foster is awesome, um, as well as crossover pianists like Maxim from Croatia. And I think just like any crossover instrumentalist in general, you have like Lindsay Sterling, Havasi, um, you know, two cellos. They're all amazing, and I think basically just any crossover artist inspired me a lot. Oh, wow. Good. Thank you for a nice answer. And now our favorite question from Italy, especially from Italy. Only Italians can oh. ask about this question. <laughs> <laughs> wow, okay. Your favorite dish. Your favorite dish. Of course, we talk about food. Not possible. Don't talk about <laughs> it. It's food. <laughs> Tell oh, us your favorite um, dish. Must it be an Italian dish or like basically anything in general? Doesn't matter. If your favorite dish is Italian, of course, but maybe you have <laughs> some kind of other type of kitchen. What do you prefer? Um, well, I actually love sushi a lot. Um, but you know, there was a point of time in my life where I was kind of contemplating whether sushi was my favorite dish or pizza so Ooh. there you go pizza <laughs> pizza and sushi in the same level wow very interesting interesting yeah. choose but uh, for example at home what do you cook at home oh um something i would say like you know really simple like for example ramen or chicken soup because you know they're super simple and easy to make and it's just so comforting Thank you so much. <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> okay, and now please explain 
uh, your music in a sentence or even better in a word? Mm. All right, I'm going to describe it in just one word. And I would use the word complicated. <laughs> uh, other words, maybe, maybe, maybe something else. <laughs> just complicated, but where is beautiful, right. um, inspirational. <laughs> what is complicated, please? Uh, <laughs> well, all right, if I have to choose other words, that would be like um, unique distinct <laughs> and electrifying yeah wow this, <laughs> this is full completed absolutely yeah <laughs> great <laughs> thank you okay and now as a question have you played any notable gigs festivals or other events um you know one of the most notable things i've ever done you know, in terms of like festival shows, gigs and stuff, I would have to say was being on America's Got Talent last season. I think that's definitely something that um, I'll remember throughout my entire career. Um, and it's also because it's something that doesn't really happen, um, you know, in a music career. You know, like especially I remember just being in my studio one day and then starting practice and I got, you know, emails to, you know, be on the show and, and play on the show. So I think it's an opportunity that I will never, ever forget. And I think it's definitely an amazing thing that I've got to experience. Yeah. Oh, after this beautiful answer, it's next question is too easy for you absolutely easy what Are do you it? think about talent show <laughs> yes talent show what do you think oh wow <laughs> um yeah this is actually a really interesting question because you know i have so many different um you know views based on my observation and experience on something like that you know talent shows especially reality shows is still you know a tv show so at the end of the day, I think what I enjoyed most about it was the fact that I was able to meet so many people from all over the world, you know, like in different countries. And we're talking about like the best out of the best talents and the best acts from all over the world. And the reason why I loved that opportunity of meeting them all so much is because they just inspire you to look at your whole career, look at your whole position, um, your stage skills, you know, like your playing skills, whatever you're doing. And it basically just inspired me to perfect my craft a lot. Um, and I think this is just like a, a different sort of wake up call for creatives and artists. And I really, really enjoyed that part of um, talent show. And I think that is also one of the experiences that you get to have in talent shows that um, is something that I was super thankful and appreciative of um, getting to receive. Oh, wow. It's really, I think from all our interview is the most deepest answer for this question, because normally it's like, um, <laughs> Tell show what is it? I like, I don't like something like that, but you really give all idea and all and everything. What do you know? You give to our audience. Thank you for this. Yeah, and you're now <laughs> more maybe spiritual question. I don't know if possible to say. In what do you believe? Oh. In what? In general. Hmm. I would say I believe in one phrase. <laughs> And um, actually, this phrase, believe it or not, is actually um, what got me through most of, you know, challenges and stuff like that and brought me where I am today. And that phrase is fake it till you make it. <laughs> oh, wow. It's your life cred or something like this. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All the time with this phrase. And it's nice. Really. It's good meaning. Yeah. Really. And now, please, sing to us 
15 seconds of one of your favorite mm. song a cappello <laughs> wow okay so an instrumental is about to sing some a cappella yep um <laughs> <laughs> Yo, um, so, you know, most of the time and, um, you know, don't get me wrong, even though I'm an instrumentalist, but um, I do love singing for fun time to time and I love karaoke. I think one of like the, um, this, this whole section and genre of songs that I would choose, especially when it comes down to like, you know, singing for fun and karaoke. Um, are definitely songs from the 80s and 90s. To me, they just make so much more, um, you know, meaning to just jam and dance out and sing along. And um, one of the greatest artists from that era, I think, um, that catches me a lot and grooving to his tune is Michael Jackson. And um, one of my favorite songs to just sing through even you know acapella without anything um was also a percussion piano cover i did and it's none other than human nature so just gonna do the chorus why why tell them that it's human nature why why has a live it that way you say why why tell them that it's human nature why Da, 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 da. <laughs> That's one oh, of my favorite. Thank you so so much. <laughs> it's so nice, really, because you show yourself oh. like a real real artist. If need you can sing, if need you can play. It's really amazing because you know a lot of artists when uh, we ask the same questions, they say like, "Oh, sorry, I am guitar player. Oh, uh, you know, I'm not vocalist. <laughs> I don't sing, but I like that song. And next time you can call to my vocalist and he sing for you, or something like this. You know? <laughs> but <laughs> you very easily change idea. Like, okay, now you need to sing. I sing. Perfect. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. And now mm -hmm. our final question: Tell to mm -hmm. us about your music project and your future plans all right currently we are releasing tons and tons and tons of um, original singles and um we're also releasing my first original full-length album and previously um i was always known as that crossover pianist that does these mashups of you know, classical pieces from Beethoven, Bach and things like that. And then, oh, she does like trap on top or EDM and stuff like that. So this is actually the first time, um, especially since the release of Lost, um, that we focus a lot on original melodies. And anyway, that's also something that I've always wanted to do. And that has always been the end goal to create crossover music with original melodies, you know, instead of doing these mashups. Um, and um, we're going to be releasing all of these tracks in that album based off original compositions. Um, and apart from that, you know, just like um, performing and traveling around the world. A lot of people always think that, you know, I'm based in L.A. just because I spent so much time in L.A. and working on music and stuff in L.A. Um, but the end goal is also to be just like this nomadic musician and artist appreciating culture and countries of you know like the whole world and um, I'm not sure if you're also familiar with this concept but um, we're leaning forward to live sets and basically just bringing the piano everywhere around um, you know different amazing and beautiful locations around the world and um, you know let's say one of the greatest um, mountains or you know even the Colosseum in Rome for example and just like um, play a live set there you know film the whole scenery the area and then put it on video it's amazing so yeah that's what we're leaning forward to oh thank you then you share with us your really amazing plans you know I think it's most secret question from all all interview because you know after artists can share what is inside what oh, yeah. they want to do it's really really nice because you know sometimes you can see the artist but and 
And what next? Yeah. It's always special. What's next? Maybe next song. Maybe that's it. Maybe yeah. vacation. Maybe <laughs> wherever. <laughs> it's always yeah. interesting to know which type of plants. And because uh, when you answer, possible to understand how deep artist and how deep person you are. Then you're not mm -hmm. just player. I, I just play. Okay, a lot of people play. But when you can play with some kind of idea and give something more to audience, this is really amazing. Thank yeah, yeah. you so much from all no, our team you. for this <laughs> nice interview. It was really a pleasure to hear your beautiful answer. Thank you, and I hope to see you soon. And um, oh. and 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 now, please, what song <laughs> are we going to listen to now? All right, so we're going to listen to my latest original single that is Lost. And um, I hope you guys will enjoy the music video. It was shot with us struggling with that 70 to 80 kilometers per hour desert wind <laughs> while playing in the desert. Um, but enjoy, Lost. Thank you so much. Thank you. Enjoy. Thank you.